thought about it all day today. The world we know is about to waste away. On both sides and in between, we're seeing things that we've never seen. I'll let it be so high. Tonight, Moonlit Paranormal is up at the loft. Now, this is uh, adjacent to the Claw Hammer murder house. It was about 15 years ago. She went crazy because even after um, that man was murdered, she could hear him and his wife fighting and arguing. That's the wife who murdered her husband, who abused her. So he was very abusive, and um, one day she'd had enough. She took a claw end of a hammer to his head and bashed his brains out all over the walls and floors. And We're doing the loft tonight. It's me. Vicky and Carolyn, Mama. A woman's scream? Vicky, was that a woman's scream? Yeah. A woman's screaming? What, what kind of a, can you kind of duplicate it? There was a hey. There, it was hey. And then a mumble. But it was an older lady's voice. Oh, as really? As soon as I opened the door. Could you tell which room it was coming from? Yeah, back there. Back here. Yeah. Okay, so this noise came from back here. This is where the bathroom is. Is anybody in here with us? We're just going to let this record while we're setting up in case any kind of EVPs. This door fell forward on me <laughs> since we've been in here. I have had some weird feelings in here. It's felt a little weird. Let the light shut out. Alright. Changing on extension cords. We're going to have some power for the ghost box tonight. This is where Vicki heard the voice coming from when she came in tonight. Yeah, I was unlocking the padlock on the door, mm -hmm. and as soon as I opened the door, I just kind of heard a, like a hey and a mumble. It was an older lady's voice. Yeah. This uh, loft has been sealed up for 15, 15 years. 15 years. The woman who was in here, she set the place on fire, and where was that at? It started, I think, in the kitchen behind you here. In here? Mm -hmm. We're going to go right to the kitchen. If anybody's here with us, can you go by that device and light it up? If you go by it, it should light up. Can you go on the other side of that? Make the other side light up? Oh, it's on the other side. Wow. So it's not by me. It's on the other side now. Who's with us? It's not me setting it off. Oh, see, something is... You can feel a presence here. Is anybody here with us? Are you upset that we're here? Oh, here it goes. There it goes. So is, is somebody here with us? Something is messing with this. And it's lighting up on the far side of us, so if we were setting it off, it would be on this side. So we got our yes-no box. So I'm going to turn this on. You can light up yes or a no. To me, the Malmeter is probably one of your most useful pieces of equipment. You want to hold this? Oh, it's 6.9. 6.9. Gonna do a ghost box session later on, but I don't want to rely completely on the ghost box tonight. I want to see if we can't get some EVPs, especially since Vicky heard a disembodied voice right when she come in. We got these little EM detectors. We're gonna put them around. Let's put them in here where you heard the voice come from. <laughs> here this place has been vacant for 15 years and was that last person that lived here was that the one that tried to burn it yes so she would hear what she would still hear them arguing yeah she long after he was long dead yeah the story goes that the lady that lived here um, basically went crazy she heard voices up here telling her to do things, and she could still hear the couple from where the murder was. Where the murder happened, she could still hear them fighting. It's a younger lady, and she was with an older gentleman, and he continuously abused her, physically abused her, mentally abused her, and um, one day she got basically tired of it and uh, beat him in the head with a claw hammer, beat his skull wow. completely in. Mm -hmm. So I kind of guess she went crazy. Um, from so the they always and stuff, yeah. yeah, they were always fighting. So always. this is something that this person that lived in here 
would hear this fighting even after, after he was gone and, and the one that killed him was in a nut house. That energy from them fighting like that left a mark. It's hard to tell because we can't ask her what her what was going on with her, but then she did burn this house. Oh yeah, and it's charred. Burned. Oh wow. You can see the char still on the wall. Yeah. It's really bad. Blistered wood over the Oh Nixon. wow, yeah. Oh, melted the register. Oh, wow. What was that, like a thermostat? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's the thermostat. But did she light the fire because she lost her mind? Or? I think so, yeah. I think the story is that um, she said, claimed that something or someone told her to light it on fire to cleanse it. She lit the curtains on fire in the front room. Okay, so that's how it, the fire started? Yes. Okay. That's where most of the burn and the char is. She set the curtains on fire and it started in there because most of the charred wood is in this concentrated area. Okay. Oh, she intentionally... It was intentional, yes. Okay. It definitely was an intentional fire. So she definitely said it? Yeah, she said it. She wanted it to burn. She burnt this place. Yes. So she lost her mind and she mm -hmm. went into a mental hospital in Huntington. Yes. So now, do you know, was she an elderly lady? Um, she was, I think, in her 50s. Okay, so did that did that go jive with the voice you heard when you came up? Yeah, kinda. Okay, this is what's left of the kitchen. Not a heck of a lot. The bathroom is a little spooky. Oh, holy fuck! Okay, so this thing is twice I've almost tripped on this pile of wood here. It's almost like mm -hmm. stuff is trying to you know get you to fall or trip mm -hmm. or. I mean, you can just feel like a little bit of negative energy up here. Oh! <laughs> Dude. And you can definitely feel like a, a negative energy up in here. Um, it just kind of just feels like it wants to, you know, mess with you. Throw you off balance. Trip you over something. This door came down on me. Um, so it already feels like it's going to be an active night. And tonight, there's also a thunderstorm going on. Electrical storm in the sky. So that also will boost the energy. All right, dude, you gonna beatbox for us? Sure. <laughs> Carolyn just celebrated her 70th birthday. You'd never believe it. Mama was promoted to battery girl and timekeeper. So congratulations, Mama or Carolyn. Thank you. Do something for Moonlit Paranormal. Moonlit. Awesome. Let me practice just a little bit. Okay, Garrett's got a little something, something. beatboxing for us. Big ass, dude. Thanks. Do a little bit more for Moonlit. Yes. That's Vicky's son, Garrett. You did a great job. Yep, thank you. Um, thank you for the shout out. What a, yeah, shout out to Moonlit. Go watch them. Uh, I put links in the description to their page on my channel. My channel's Wildcat Beatboxing. Spaces in between cat and beats. She can, dude. Thank you. We're going to move this wood so we have a little more room when nobody gets hurt. Bring them in this way. Tell Van Vicky she wants to move all these boards at once in one big stack. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Let's get money all the way. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. Right there.
we're still running video while we do this in case we get any kind of EVP uh -huh. because we're moving stuff. Uh -huh. I got one more. She got them exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of want to have where the voice came from behind us. Yeah, that's where it came from. The fire, the fire, the fire would be over here. Vicky is directly behind the camera. That is the entrance, so this is the loft. We have like a little setting room in here. Then we have the kitchen back here. There's the bathroom behind that. And there's a room off on this side. Everything's gutted from the fire. You're getting any hits of point zero two. We've got a point zero two on the millimeter. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I just saw something in here. I saw something in there. Can we fix this table up? We just lock it in. We have some instruments here in the side room, and this is where the fire probably originated from. Looks like that window over there. Looks like this window here was the curtains were probably lit on fire. Judging from those burnt beams up there. So they are in the process of what? Remodeling. They're they're gutting the place and they're rebuilding it. Yeah, they they were, but that's yeah. 15 years ago. Nobody's been up here since. I think they gave up on it. I think something just touched my leg. I'm not sure. I think something just touched my leg. Um, where, it, where it touched it wasn't close to any of the stuff hanging here on the door. Touched the back of my leg very lightly, like maybe like a feather. Oh, yeah, that. We're going to just put that away because it ain't working. What was that? I heard that. Wait a minute. There was just a thump in this other room here. There was just a thump in here. Wow right by this very burnt area. That was a thump. Did you get a, like a, almost an eerie feeling when you stepped into this room just now, after the thump? Well, something just touched my leg over there. Why, did you get a creepy feeling? Yeah, I got kind of like a, like a dread type feeling, like a. Really? Almost a shudder. Kind of I see, I'm feeling something kind of behind me a little bit. Let's get some meters and walk them in here. Okay. So over here. We heard a thump. Is anybody in here with us? This is a really bad, really burnt bad right here. I would say that this is definitely one of the points of origin of this fire. The lady went crazy. She lost her freaking mind. You know, that looks like that burned to the outside and then they put this other wood over it. So is anything here with us? Can you... Can you tell us your name, or can you tell us why you burnt this place down? Okay. So we heard a noise in here. Can you make that thumb for us again? Make your presence known? So everybody's downstairs right now, um, taking a break. I'm up here by myself and I'm hearing some noises coming from the side room over here. Uh, sounds like a little bit of motion. Let's take a, a light and we'll check it out. See if we see anything up here. It caused the noise. Something. Oh! Oh, that scared me. That's our motion detector right here. Okay. So we're behind the beam now. Ooh, that was definitely a noise over there. This is the beams between the rooms. Definitely heard a noise over there. Okay, I'm getting behind the beam again. It should shut off. Yep. So, that was like a thud kind of from the bathroom area. Kind of from right where Vicky heard the noise, um, the voice. Oops, that was me again. That was actually, um, that thud was actually from where Vicky heard the woman's voice. Hey, she came in. So, just waiting for everybody else to get back up here. I'm going to get out of this area.
Ooh, the 360 is lighting up. So who's by this 360? Who's over here by this? Just a laser grid. So I was up here. Okay, I went in there. I totally heard a thud over here. Did you guys slam a door when you were downstairs? Mm. Did you guys no. slam any doors? Did you shut no. the door loud? Mm. Okay, then it was up here. It was like right by the bathroom. I figured it was by where you heard the noise when we came in. So, um, something made a thud. And if you guys didn't slam a door, no. then, um, that was up here. The Who's turning on the 360? Who's turning this on? Can you tell us your name? Who turned it on? Can you tell us your name? I moved everything. Oh, see, they went off. Look at it. And if it goes off, then it's getting a charge. That red one should come back on. Wow, something's got them off. When something's by it, it'll shut them off. See? 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 Wow. So, 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 so something's by them. Watch. Ah, and the 360 is going up. Who's here with us? That's interesting. That's the first time I've ever seen these go off. So there's energy here. There's an energy right here. It's taking those off and it's turning this on. Can you tell us your name on the ghost box? Are you the one who died next door? So who is making our our little detectors go off? That's good. That's the first time I've seen them work. And they both work independently for the same thing. Yeah, something is setting these off. When these get set off, they actually go out. So something is affecting these little EM detectors right now. See, they should be on. And when, and when, and when something is by them, they go off. The 360 is off now. Interesting. But these are still off. Who's here with us? Tell me your name in the ghost box. Who's with us? Look at this 360 going off. Look at it. It's still moving. Who's here with us? Can you light that all up? All the way around? 
And look at our things are back on. Our things are back on. It's moved from here. And it's over here. But see what I mean about these? They turn off when the... When there's something near them. Can you talk to us over the ghost box? Tell me your name. What's your name? Did you hear that noise in there? Did you just hear that noise in there? Who got murdered next door? here in the swap. Rape. Did you hear rape? Was somebody raped up here? Did somebody get raped up here? Did your wife murder you? Were they married? 